All right, welcome back. Another Vintage Cube Draft on Magic Online. Frank here, Mike here. And Sarah, our friend Sarah wants us to do the mono white stipulation. I actually think that's a fine stipulation to do because I don't think that it really, we sacrifice much. We can actually take this Armageddon. You love it. I do like that card. I bet Mother Ruins comes back because no one likes the white cards. What do you think? I mean, I'd probably take the Armageddon no matter what in this pack, or the Entomb. You take Armageddon over anything? Mm -hmm. All right, we're taking Armageddon. We're going to do the mono white stipulation. You heard it here first. I don't know what that means. I don't know what you heard it here first means. So I don't know where else you'd hear it. Did you guys hear Frank's doing a mono white stipulation on his. I just don't like forcing single color. It's really difficult. You're really difficult. Wow. Got him. I mean, we get to play the sword. That's fine, right? I guess. Also, I think this is probably one of the better cards in this pack. This pack is not very good. No, it's not. So I'll take sword. Hmm. I like figure of destiny in the mono white deck a lot. When all of your lands help pump this guy into an 8-8, that's where I want to be. Seems good. You like that over a Mary Angel? Mary Angel's really slow. <sighs> you always say that about these cards, and then I have to be like, Mike, oh... That's a good dude. Sun Dad. Also, Simulacrum Dad. I think Sun Dad's He's better. He's not a dad. He's an uncle. <laughs> He's too small to be a dad. Simulunculorum. That's not good. Relic Order. And that's pretty much it. Actually, Westvale Abbey could be good. I think Relic Order is pretty good, actually. Every time we have Westvale Abbey and we get to flip it, which is actually more frequently than I'd think, it's pretty good. You think it's Relic Order? Yeah, I like that card. I hope this comes back. I think it's actually very good. It's always very good. Also, getting back with this, with this back with Sun Titan is not bad. Moat. Shackles. Is Shackles good in the mono white deck? Yeah, it's fantastic. I think it's just Moat, right? Like, because there's no other cards? I don't know. I guess. Alright, Moat it is. Moat for the side. Oh, Council's Judgment is great. This gets rid of literally anything. Mm -hmm. And it's another situation where this is probably one of the better cards in the pack. Maybe Seeker comes back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Seeker would have to be the last card in the pack, but it could come back. I like Athalia. Yeah. I like the... There's a lot of synergies here with uh, Sunny T as well. Top is fine. It'll do. Okay. Another t another Titan synergy. None of these cards are good for us. I like Scarab God a lot, though. I'm just take him on principle. Never again will we moat. That is correct. Why would happen? Oh, I don't think you were here. I control magic someone's Blightsteel Colossus. I Phantasmal image the Blightsteel Colossus. They played Flying Emrakul, taking our turn. And then they cast the moat that was in our hand, so we couldn't attack with our Blightsteels, but they could attack with their Emrakul. Nice. So our own moat cursed us after we had two Blightsteels in play. Hey, Tamaligan, have a good night, buddy. That was not okay. Seems like rough beats. It was the roughest of beats. You might even say Doug Funny uh, was not a fan of those beats. Oh, we can have Thalia and Vryn Wingmare. Yeah. That's a late Liliana, too. If we were reanimator, that'd be great. We could have taken Entomb and had the Liliana table for us. That's bull honky.
If we go, I, I like Thalia into. Oh, he came back, boy. Nice. Great. That card's great. Also, if we do play the mode, it gives us a sweet out. A sweet out. I don't know, I don't know what you're saying right now. A sweet out? I don't know what you're doing. I think this is a good first pick. First pack, man. It's all right. Vintage Cube is up until the 15th. So quite a few more days, like 12 more days, almost two weeks. And also, um, I have a bunch of back logged drafts that i'm posting i post one a day on youtube so if you guys don't uh if you guys don't check be sure to follow me on youtube it's uh youtube slash frank lapore and um yeah i'll take this corpse dance it'll take you where's it gonna take me to the corpse dance to the gr oh my god i was hoping this see i was like the secret will come back if it's the literal last card in the pack and it was this pack's actually not that great, so I don't feel bad taking a Brimaz. Yeah. I guess we could take Emrakul, too. No. Okay, Brimaz? Mm -hmm. Yeah, seems good. <laughs> That's the king of the cats. Your mother's the king of the cats. Wow, we got Westvale Abbey and Seeker came back. That's pretty good. I, I think Brimaz is much better than Spear. Especially because the potential to get Honor of the Pure is real. Oh, 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 oh. I bet this will come back. This has come back before. I think it's Stoneforge here. Yeah, seems good. And then we can find one more equipment. We're just golden. Also, Sun Titan Stoneforge is a real thing. Oh. I really just like Ulamog. We have no ramp, though, right? Like, that's just yeah, greedy. It's pretty hard to cast. I mean, I love that card, but... I do like Duplicate. I think it's a good answer for things. Uh, Spear is an honor of the pure that costs three instead of two, which is kind of a big deal. I do like Duplicate's ability to remove anything, including the aforementioned Ulamog or an Emrakul. So, big Emmy. Big Emmy. Hmm. Oh, or Path. I like that. I do too, which is unfortunate because I think Master Rentor is pretty good. Oh, just table. It's fine. It probably will just table, actually. I, I don't think that's untrue. Oh, Banishing Light. Yeah. I think that's better than Leyline. This is real tempting because we're going to be heavy creature based. I'm going to take Godfarer's Gift and we're going to try it out. Getting back 4-4 four, four Burmazes with haste or like 4-4 four, four Vernon Ring Mares with haste is pretty sweet. Balance or Steelant? I think Balance is the better card here. It's pretty brutal and it's good. Yeah, I just think the potential of Balance is significantly higher. Here. Is balance plus Armageddon a thing? Like balance already destroys all the lands. What is what is balance or uh, Armageddon already destroy? Who girl? It's a good one. That's one of the better ones. I would definitely consider main boarding. I mean main decking your balance. I fixed it. You trigger happy son of a Mitch. Main board. I have to go now. I have to get water. Where are you gonna go? To get water. I just told you. Oh, you did. God. Sword of War and Peace or Spear of Heliod. Sword of War and Peace. Really, I like Spear here. Because we make tokens with Elspeth, Brimaz. I'm going to take the Spear. I'll just hover on it, though, so that give that dude some time to get some water. And just as we said, Baneslayer came back. Yep, pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Every time you cast Geddon for the win, I'm going to donate $5. Note, not just when you cast it frivolously. Nice. Oh, man. 
All right, we'll have to we'll have to make a distinction between frivolously and not frivolously. Uh, we'll just take Legionnaire here. So our picks were, eh, Spyglass is fine. So we got Baneslayer while he was gone, Porcelain Legionnaire while he was gone. And Spyglass. And nothing here is great. We'll just take the makeshift mannequin, I guess. Baron Geddon is probably the more accurate Geddon. That's a good dude. And Skin Render. None of these cards matter, so. Man, again, nothing great here. That's really sad. We can actually take Gilded Lotus. The Bane Slayer tabled. Yeah. And we got a Spear of Heliod and a Porcelain Legionnaire that were relevant. And now we have a pack that has nothing really great. We got Gilded Lotus, Angel of Invention, or Mana Tithe. Probably Angel of Invention. You think so? Over Gilded Lotus? Oh. Gilded Lotus lets us do other other I crazy things. I marijuana cigarette out of my cup. Why was it in your cup? Because I went to throw it away. Okay, so it. Mike put the, the Hershey wrapper in his drink because he was just going to throw it out. And then he filled up his cup and forgot it was in there. <laughs> It freaked me out because from like distance it looked like it was some kind of bug and I was like, oh. I took Gilded Lotus. I think it's a better card. I don't care about you. Gilded Lotus isn't very good in our deck. Yeah, but it lets us play broken things and also we have a Godfarer's Gift to ramp to. And plus if we Armageddon we still have a Gilded Lotus. Can That's pretty good. Can that Mind Twist? I was really thinking about it off this Gilded Lotus. It's so good. It's up to Sarah. Sarah, can we splash this Mind Twist? I'm going to highlight it and hope that we can. Well, nothing else for us in this pack besides Legion of Lightning. Yeah, which as we've discovered is not like super exciting. Oh, we gotta go for it. We gotta we got a confirmed mind twist. Ooh. Ooh. This pack is great for us. I'd really like another sword. I would rather have a Karn, though. Really? Yeah. It's Karn. Okay. Plus, I wonder if Iona is actually just playable when you have Gilded Lotus and Godfrow's Gift. Not over Karn. No, no, no. I mean, it's probably going to come back. Oh, Knight of the White Orchid. Yeah, just Knight. Other cards really. If we get a Scrubland, it's actually very good because we can get it with Knight, and it helps us cast Mind Twist along with Gilded Lotus. Elishnorn, Lingering Souls. It's not Lingering Souls because we can't reliably flash it back. I think it's just 1,000% Elishnorn. Revelark's also... Revelark's probably going to come back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Three cards are going to come back. It's going to be Jackal Pup, Revelark, and Bring Delight. Those are my guesses. Probably. Jackal Pup, Revel Lark, bring to light. Jackal Pup, Revel Lark, bring to light. I'll just take Fiend Hunter. Seems decent. Oh, there's a Godless Shrine. That's actually fantastic for us. Still get it off Night of the White Orchid. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, in honor of the pure. That seems good with Elspeth and Brimaz and, you know, every other white creature in our deck. I think that's actually main deckable. Which is all of them. You're right, Mitch. Oh, look, Mana Tithe. Got him. Come on, man. We got to put it in to get him. We have 27 cards here. We need to make cuts. Cut, 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 cuts. Alesh Norn is my dude. Probably all of them. It's, it's one of the cuts. I agree. I personally, Generic can also probably come out. It's aggressive, though. 
Yeah, it's also got one butt. One butt. It's got a. I don't like top. I'm not a big top fan. I'll be honest with you. We don't have a way to abuse it anyway. No fetch lines. I do like Legion's Landing though. Flips into a land. I don't know how I feel about Vryn the Wingmare. Why not? She's great. Does it? Because we have so many spells, though. Like, do we want Elspeth to cost five, Gildalos cost six? But usually we're ahead on board. That's why it's good. Well, usually these decks are, but I don't know if we are. Seeker's not that great. Seeker's, you're out of your mind. I like Angel of Sanctions. The O Ring, right? Hmm? It's yeah, O Ring Angel. Seems alright. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can actually play this and then the next turn play Iona. Just hard cast on Iona. Is that too greedy? I think so. Alright, we'll take Angel. Oh, uh, Mental Mist is actually an option. We can actually just play that. Revelark came back. Oh boy. Oh boy. Revelark's really slow. But it gets back literally so many cards in our deck. Let's put all the cards it gets back over here in this in this leftmost pile. Outside of Fiend Hunter, how useful is that, though, really? How what? Outside of Fiend Hunter, how useful is that, really? What? How useful? I'm sorry, how what? <sighs> oh, God. I'm just, I don't, I, I'm not, not, I don't hear you, I guess. I guess I'm just missing it. Alright, I have four cuts to make. I think God Pharaoh's Gift is one of them. How do we get guys back from our graveyard then? I think God Pharaoh's Gift is really good. And I, I kind of want to try it. Like, just being able to get back your... Like, if you go Armageddon when a God Pharaoh's Gift in play, like, you just make four fours every turn with haste. In that scenario, sure. Okay, if if God Pharaoh's Gift is in play and you don't Armageddon, you still make four fours with haste. How is it a pipe dream? It's just literally one card. Like, I don't even understand that. What's the pipe dream? What part of it's a pipe dream? I could see Cutting Stone for it. I was thinking that same thing. We only have one sword. We don't have Moten here, right? No, okay. Oh my god, what, are you crazy? I, I can see Cutting the Rebel Arc. That seems fine. I can see Cutting Legion's Landing. Yeah, it's not great. This is six 24 lands. cards. Let's do it. We have 6 drop, 6 drop, 7 drop, 7 drop, 7 drop, X card. And we have an Armageddon. This is definitely not a 16. We got a Guild Bugs. We can actually cut Mind Twist and just be Mono White. Mind Twist is so good, though. We have to get, like, one of two black sources for it to be relevant. We just play two Swamps and a... Cosmic I never want to play two Swamps when we have double white, double white, double white, double white, double white, double white figure of destiny the one draw where we get planes playing swamp and we have figure of destiny is literally game ending like you just lose Bad gift to win. this is gonna be our deck it's gonna be sweet we're gonna have a good time let's do it you tell me what to do wow water sports drew that's a good point i didn't think about that Kithkin, Karn, the black card? Are those your cuts? You want to cut Karn, Figure of Destiny, and the black card? Those are some weird cuts, my friend. I cannot support that. Um, Even if we don't have... Yeah, we have Els We have tons of guys for Abby. We have Brimaz, we have Elspeth. Even if we don't, it's just, it's just a land that makes its own guys. I want to play first. I'll keep this. But will it keep you? I don't know. It's hard to say. We're just going to draw a Seeker of the Way, which is nice. Some Seeker of the Way? I was thinking, oh my god, I was thinking that. Some kind of Seeker of the Way? 
Uh, the hands where we draw Planes, Planes, Westvale Abbey is more acceptable because we were going to play the Westvale Abbey anyway. So now we don't. Now we have one land that we can draw to disrupt our figure plan rather than three. All right. Well, sometimes you just do things with Seeker of the Way. Some kind of Seeker of the Way. That's pretty good. Hey. I don't know what you're doing right now. I think you're having a stroke if you if you're if you're on my honest opinion. I want your own honest opinion. I think you're just fine and there's nothing wrong with you medically or or otherwise. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeehaw. What's the play here? Ringmare? Vrinmare? Ring Vrin Wingmare or Brimaz? Oh, 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 mm, no, mm, mm, not, not the Ed. <laughs> okay, so there was a first of all don't sass me comment, but was there any follow-up? Was there a second of all? I'm okay, Dad. Hey, man, you ever seen Big Brims in real life? No. He's beautiful. He's got a big old mane. He's got a sash. You ever see his little sachet? Mm -mm. It's just gorgeous. Look at it. Just gorgeous, Michael. What are you copying? Brimass? Can I target that dude to something? Path to exile. Yeah, that works. Oh, and then they don't get the land either. That's pretty good. <laughs> what if we go Path Council's Judgment to wipe their board? Is that good? It's okay. Because I really don't want this guy to to block. I think we get in a lot of damage if we do this. And we do, because we do. We do, because we do. <sighs> Trying to like you. Never works. Yeah, we just swing for four, five, six, seven, eight. That's pretty good. This is when they play their Knight of the White Orchid. And we're like, oh no. How no. I can never trust him to pour me hot tea because it always feels as close to the brim as, as po to the brim as possible. Oh boy! Wow. Oh look, you got some Volta de la Mana. It's a good year. What's a good year? Dire. Oh boy. Mana Vault into Ancestral Recall, you see. Why wouldn't you play this first in case you had a double white spell that you drew? I mean, they take seven right now on the attacks. Which is P good. Also, we're, we're a creature-based deck, so if they, like, wipe the board with Wrath of God and we play God Pharaoh's Gift, it's just basically game over. It's such a good recovery card. Well, it does cost seven now. That's really not that much. Looks like a lot right now. Oh, I see. Doing a little tinky, huh? A little tinky winky? Hmm. That's what you got? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm not sure you can draw some cards, but... 
I agree. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the earth. Can we get a banishing light here one time? Westvale Arby's. I'm almost to play I'm almost tempted to play uh five guys here. Or two guys and just attempt. Yeah, but if they wipe the board, like, we have nothing. I don't know what to do. I have seven cards in hand. I'm not feeling great about <laughs> Yeah. Oops. What? We can't cast an item. No, I'm not going to. I'd rather have an extra land. Like, if they go land, I'd rather be able to play this guy. Because I'd rather have six lands. If they wipe the board, I'd rather have six lands than seven lands. Or six lands than five lands, because it's significantly more. Then we're one land away from Nor Alesh Norn, um, Karn, and God Pharaoh's Gift. So. This Student of Warfare Soulfire Grandmaster deck is kind of weird. This Tinker Phantasmal Image. Like, it's got a lot of everything in here. Including Mana Vault, Tinker, and uh, Ancestral Recall. Those are good cards. I know. I know. Well, that's pretty good. But they can't equip it this turn, which is nice. actually very good wow As good, I guess, because you have four cents Snapcaster Mage. Wow, that's just amazing. Seems good. It does seem good, doesn't it? What's up, Sathos? So, the problem is we just have to chump block whatever they equip. Or they're just gonna play Time Sparrow. Or that. All right. Well, that's pretty good. I feel like they didn't need more cards, which is interesting. Hmm. Enjoy your cards. On the bright side, we Westvale Abbey. And they have to block. True. Why don't you have trample? And, like, they have to have a way to deal with this. I guess they could steal it. If they steal it, we're just dead, but...
Oh man, um, we are currently O O. This is round one, and this is where Sword of Temptation slash Control Magic slash Treachery gets played because our deck is our opponent's deck is utterly insane with Tinker, Force of Will, Consecrated Sphinx, Snapcaster Mage, Ancestral Recall, Mana Vault, and Mana Vault. Right. I feel like you have that many artifacts to sacrifice to Tinker. Well, that, that you've seen. There's a ponder. Oh, I see. Yeah. Control magic. It was a. It was, oh, that's oh, that's oh. good. It was a control magic the entire time. Why do you have opposition? That's really weird too. Like, where are your creatures? You got two creatures. Oh, I see. Well, that's the end. It had like had to be opposition. Eh, what are you gonna do? They had to have force of will. They had to have tinker for double ancestral. I mean, things had to go right for them. So. Why can't you have Hexproof or something? I mean, the, the cost is so high to get this dude. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. <laughs> sure. All right. Balance? Um. I mean, they had three creatures. We had significantly more up until the point where we Westvale Abbeyed. I guess for the hand it's good, but then we just end up sacrificing a bunch of creatures, you know? True. We already have Lena and Relic Warder, so that's pretty good. We can bring in Sorcerer Spyglass for opposition. Anything else? Sword? Meh. Really? I mean, opposition's pretty good against us. What do you think out for it? I don't know. Yeah, I guess we do have a bunch of good answers. Could bring him in, Ty. Get what, him. What are we taking out for that? Probably like Karn. What? Are you why do you got so much mana? <laughs> so slow to hit those. Like, we wouldn't even be able to play the last game. You're insane. Look how good this hand is. It's pretty good. Once I knew I love you before I met you, is that from a song? I think so. You guys are utterly ridiculous. I got my figure of destiny. I <laughs> oh, got a little student warfare, huh?
I was like, there's no way you block here. Oh, the old double, the old double butt. Can we get one land so we can brims? I don't think you attack here either. Oh, we did it. God, what's it like being this good at this game? I wouldn't know. Yeah, I know. I, just, I knew it. They got double white. Double white seems bad for their deck, right? I don't know. Here comes the Seachrome sea chrome Coast. Oh, you got a little Knight of the White Orchid yourself, huh? Okay. How nice. Get that Tundra. Oh, just the planes. I'm intrigued. Oh, there's your island. Okay. Like that Mario Jam? Yeah, but then we can path one in response. We can also just play sword and equip it next turn, which is pretty strong. Can we do that? Well, no, not next turn. But we can play sword next turn and equip it the turn after that is what I meant. Okay. Okay. Okay, boss. Oh, do you remember? When my, yeah, when my when my beard was when like my hair was blue, and everyone was like, "You got blue hair." I think this is just stronger than anything else we're doing. Unless they go force spike slash force of will. Which they will. Here comes, ready? Here comes, it's going to go to 18. They're, they're deciding what card they're going to exile. Oh, it didn't go to 18. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the problem with the path and blow them out if they don't have a counter is that they blow us out if they do have a counter. Then it's just a two for one. Five mana, huh? Okay, okay. Uh, that's actually fine. I don't care about that. Annoying. An annoying. Okay, if Carnage gets more votes, sacrifice it and destroy all non-land permanents. If Homage gets more votes, it's a tie draw card. Looks like we're voting for Homage. Homage always. Did you see that video of the me creation music from the Wii, but all the pauses are wildly wrong and annoying? No, that sounds really jolting, though. Where you going, man? Rubbing your hands together? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? God, where do I start? Who's this going on? Probably the king of the cats. King of the cats. So we, the, part, the thing is we can put it on here. Mm -hmm. Or we can just put it on kitchen on Kithkin too. And we can attack with Burmaz because they're tapped out, so we can actually path one of these guys. But if they do have Force of Will and they're just waiting, it's really bad. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Well, we could path before attacking. Right. But then they're just not going to block it. They'll just block one of the tiny, the, the tiny guy instead. So it's like the goal is you want to kill it, but you don't want to kill it because then it's dead. And then you get. You can get blown out. What am I saying right now? I don't know. I have no idea what you're trying to say. It's very confusing. <laughs> wow, they don't have force. Bold claim. How do you know? See, because putting it on here, it means they have to double block if they want to kill it, but otherwise he can get through. Oh, they can't have force because of Thalia. You guys are so smart. I mean, they still could have force, but they're not going to be able to force, which is pretty, pretty what we're getting at here. Yep, that's what we're talking about. Got him. Let's see if it goes down to 18 just in case they forget. 
And then we know they have force. Ready? That'd be cool. They didn't. Man, I wish Sword of Light and Shadow could get back your opponent's creatures. That'd be good. Churn butter once or twice, living in an homage paradise. This little weird Al Yankovic. Uh, his name is Yankovic. Yankovici. Uh, use its ability. What? Yeah. What? What? Would you like to get back a creature? No. All right. Perhaps. Yes, I would. Well, there's no creatures. Okay, then I don't want to, I guess. I don't know. What do you want from me? Oh, they voted for Carnage? <laughs> no. Homage. <laughs> yeah. Nice try, buddy. Yeah, that was cute. Uh, you, almost got, uh, you almost got me there. Remember that time we did it once? We actually messed up. Hmm. And look at that cutie. If we hit a land, we're just going to duplicate that guy. Oh, oh yeah. boy. Oh, yeah, this is, gonna, this is game over. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Living in an homage paradise. Give me that four six boy. Wah. Give me all the creatures. I wonder if you have a board wipe. They always do. Do 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 do. -do. No targets, okay. Would you like to use it? Y yeah. Okay, I don't know why you asked me that when you literally said, you literally tell me there's no targets. They're going to keep naming Carnage, right? Okay, you're just going to keep drawing all your cards, buddy. Nine cards in hand, huh? All right. Let's... That's a lot. More like a duplican. That's a good call. That's a good call. I, uh, I respect that point. Respect. Oh, we won. Did you see we won? I saw it. What are you doing to that microphone stand, bro? Whatever I want. Holding on to it for dear life. Are you going to... Yeah. Okay. I'm going to bring this Manatai then, actually. And we're going to 41 card special it. You crazy. Maybe. Maybe I'm just crazy enough. Too crazy. Just crazy enough. Too crazy. Okay, maybe. Living in a... Oh, no. Oh, no, that's loud. Yeah, we have not cast Geddon yet, which is real sad. Some taboo, eh? How does it make you feel? Some taboo. Why? Did you not like the way I said that? Oh, no. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Really? Armor, get on this hype train. God, you push it. You are. You are. God's. You're just nature's little treasure. <laughs> what does that even you're mean? You're just nature's little treasure, you are. <laughs> don't. Don't do that. Why are you like this? Do up. Do up. Bop. Do up. Skip it up, ba do up. Skip it up, ba do. Hey, listen. Is that that Zelda creature? <laughs> hey, listen. We submitted. I don't know what, what problem is Shinryu. I imagine they're double queuing.
Check out this bad boy. Is this hand good? Chad, tell me if I keep this hand. It's, it's really close. <sighs> oh, boy. Boy, 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 boy. Wop, 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 wop. Oh, I accidentally hit the key button. Oops. They went to five on the play. They're basically dead. Well, they're probably just going to go Mana, Mana Vault Ancestral. So they're like, okay. Then we're going to Snapcaster Mana Vault. Or Snapcaster Ancestral. And then we're going to be like, okay. Hey, listen. Oh, that could be good. Oh, Elspeth and uh, Honor the... What? Oh, thank... Are you going to... What? Okay, you're just going to get Ancestral. I was like, you can't counter this, right? What are you doing with your mouth? What are you doing with your head? Are you leaning your head on the microphone? No. You're a really strange human being. I just want you to know that. I don't disagree with you. Okay, well, that's good because it's really hard for you to do that. I'm going to scoot this over more so that people can actually see. Oh, what a surprise. You drew Ancestral Recall. Wow, Student of Warfare every game. Well, if we draw one land, that's actually very good. Hey, listen. Are you laughing because it's in my head now? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Thanks, brah. Oh, goody. Oh, goody. Good day. The sadness has to just become has to just become real. Man, a third land would have been great here. We'd have two different plays. Yes, yeah, this one, you big dodo. Yeah, this one. Yeah, listen. <laughs> Some taboo. Eh? This is why I don't think Armageddon's good. Like, there's so many situations where your opponent's just ahead than you. Armageddon's currently not a good card because we don't have four lands. I don't think there are any games we've played where Armageddon was going to be good. Except for last game where we were way ahead. That's what it's for. That's a good one. They have that too. Jeez. <sighs> hey, listen. Oh, okay, God. Well. This is just bad. All right. Well, we're done here. Yeah, they're there. Of course. Yeah. All right. Anyway... Man, we started doing much worse after we just started uh, doing stipulation drafts. For obvious reasons. Gee, I wonder why. Tell me. Explain it to me. Hey, listen. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, listen. All right. All right. You ready? No. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, okay, cool. Illusions donate. Robert, have a good night, buddy. Have a good night, Ken. My name's not Ken, you Mitch. I'm talking to you. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. And we got next this. Next step, no step. It's a good step. The old next step, no step. Mike B does have his own mic. It's right here. I have no idea how he'd be able to get to this mic that's right here. That'd be... That'd be a work. That'd I be. Just a, talk real loudly. Oh. Do you have to use that weird voice to do it? Yes. Okay, take it easy. This is my normal voice. No, it's not. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, man. Uh, Why are you being so weird? <laughs> Let's go to one drop. One droppy. One drop. Drop top. Open up shop. Well, it's a one drop in the sense that I can play it on turn one. <laughs> Q, Q, Q. Uh, yes, my child. What? I don't get it. I have no idea what that means. 
Is that because of all the stipulations? Is that is that the joke? I feel like this is going to be the, the match where we go Knight of the White Orchid and then Armageddon and then... Oh, never mind. They're ahead. <laughs> Can I get a Thalia here? They're not ahead. They don't have anything on board. Okay, another land. They do. They have a Pentad Prism on board. Look at that Knight of the White Orchid. He's like giving you a paw. Yeah, he's, he's like, hi, paw, bro. Oh, you don't want to wake up and deal with a foot of snow, dude. I wouldn't either. I would just stay in bed. I would just never leave my house. I guess I lost my job. I guess I don't have to... I guess I don't work anymore. Oh, I see. I didn't know this was the kind of game we were playing. Oh, I see. Well, that means they're not scared of our Armageddon. They ain't scared of no ghost. What about Armageddon? Are they scared of that? No. Hmm, unfortunate. How about because, a one or a two uh, drop? They can't take it. That's a three drop. That's close. I see. Now I have to pay one more. Well, they only have two cards left, and they have a lodestone golem, so... Hey, that's a pretty okay. If they play a land, we can go Knight of the White Orchid for three and equip... That's pretty good. Oh, they did. They played land. That's great news. I guess we're taking five alive. Do you know what five alive is? No. You, Michael. It was you the whole time. Five alive. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Five alive was in your heart the whole time, Michael. What are you talking about? What's but, wrong with you? I don't know, Michael. Do you need professional help? Oh god, I can only one can only hope, Mitchell. Look, we got a four four a first strike pro white pro black. Yeah, it's really good against this college creature. It actually is because of the first strike part. <laughs> I forgot it had a first strike. Oh yeah. Oh I think they did too. Or they just want to play a six drop. One, two, three, four, five. So it doesn't mean they throw away their... Oh, yeah, maybe they do throw it away because they need the mana. I mean, I'll still take it. They might have also forgotten about the first strike. They forgot about the first strike part two! See, look. Now you just arm again and win the game. I actually feel like we do do that. You said do-do. I, I know I did, didn't I? Should have probably played the land after the Armageddon, but... God, you're so smart. How did you get this smart? I never do that correctly, actually. Keep up that four spike mana. The lands, they're gone. Oh, they're pan. <sighs> Come on, man. Every it's time. It's always something. It's always something. Is Armageddon a creature? Can I get it back with, with Knight of the White Orchid? I guess not. Spell Pierce, come on, man. So rude. This is how you win with Mono White. You wait for your opponent to forget about First Strike. That's not a bad strategy. I don't hate it. Why can't Sword of Light and Shadows let you get back anything from your graveyard? Um, because that would be really good. And that's not a white ability, really. Or that's not a black ability. Sure it is. No, no, yeah, it's... Moss will. Okay, okay. Got him. I guess you did get him. Also, we're super close to 100 subs, so if anybody wants to sub and support the channel and you guys are having a good time, we stream pretty much daily, so uh, feel free to do that and help me out. If not, that's cool, too. I love you anyway. But you love subscribers more. You know what? I do. But only because they're my special children. Hmm. Hmm.
<laughs> oh boy. I believe it. Oh, I believe it 100%. I saw a headline that says Trump reportedly loves McDonald's because he has a long time fear of being poisoned. Like, holy God. I, I'm reluctant to say that because I don't want this to devolve into a... Uh, I mean, I don't care who you are politically. That's just funny. That's, that's, like, no matter what you believe, that's utterly ridiculous. Him, that's pretty ridiculous. He's basically just a paranoid old man. Well, this figure is coming at you for eight, eight damage. This is lethal on board. Emo Geddon, we did not win, unfortunately. Our opponent was, uh, they mulled to five. We didn't hit a third land drop, and they were able to go Mystical Tutor into Ancestral Recall. And they uh, they pulled themselves up by the bootstraps, as it were. Doesn't this kill you? <laughs> okay. We have to fight against so many decks that have infinite power pieces. It's so funny. Infinite power. I actually don't think about it every time I eat. Is that I can't tell if that's a serious if that's a serious comment. Who doesn't think about being poisoned every time? <laughs> let's yeah, let's not uh let's not forget about the irony of eating at McDonald's because you're afraid of being poisoned. I'm gonna go out your face. No, that's not your face. That's your face. That's your beautiful, beautiful face. This is eight. What's going to happen? Oh, you died. Oh, okie dokie, man. All right, we're up a game. Can we just keep bringing it, Mana Tithe? Is that yeah. just like our tech? And Mental Misstep. Just in case they have their own Mana Tithe. <laughs> got him. But no, you didn't get anyone, really. Yeah, but the one time you got someone with that, it'd feel pretty good. <laughs> the criminal minds episode about the delivery guy who poisons cut so does that mean you can't just order any delivery then because even if it's not uber eats like Danny, what, what kind of trouble are you in how much money do you owe denny denny <laughs> what a story mark what we just heard you just told me a story about the girl going to a hospital man why are you laughing about that What up, Frank Loves Gutshot? Didn't you? Weren't you here earlier? I bet you were. Who knows? The nose knows. The nose knows? What was that? Toucan Sam? The, follow your nose. Maybe you're a Toucan Sam. Oh, maybe. Oh, I guess you get you one son of, of a Mitch. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so there's Criminal Minds episodes about someone poisoning the bank candy and a delivery driver who poisons people? That's pretty ridiculous. I don't think any of those ever happened in real life. Spell sling the Dominaria set. That sounds reasonable. I don't know if I want to travel, though. What'd you say to me? don't know you'll never know i'll never let you i'll never tell you i don't know what i just said i think i blacked out while that whole sentence came out i think i blacked out oh look at that three mana pentad prism that's weird why they have thalia oh <laughs> that's strange why would they do that what a strange lad well, he you is. see michael well, you see, actually... The cab driver turned women into cab... What is the show you're watching, Sarah? This is not okay. This sounds very violent. It sounds very twisted. Get twisted. <laughs> Get on flow. It's like getting shifty. Get twisted. Hmm. I don't really care about spell sky, to be honest. Oh, seeker of the way. Some kind of seeker of the way. I have no idea why you 
<laughs> you ever said that. You love it, don't you? No one loves it. If I could turn back time. If I could find a way. I'll take back those mics that would hurt you. I want to steal this guy. Let me get that spell. Alright, let's see if you got Torrential Gear Hulk. You don't. Okay. Got him. Oh, they didn't do anything. Oh, they... Well, they're in their second main phase. So maybe they just skipped it. Maybe they're just like, whoa, I almost skipped my whole turn there. Whoops. Skip to Malou. I don't know what that means. That's really all it means. What does that mean? Skip to Malou. Oh, a tomato. We can cancel that. I like a good tomato. Oh, and they had to use their Pentad prism counters? That's pretty good. I like to put the salt in the paper on my tomato and I eat it. Why do you like this? What's wrong? What? What's wrong? Everything. Everything about this is wrong. I'm only three and a half years old. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I want the macaroni. What are you doing right now? <laughs> what is this, this little Courage the Cowardly Dog meme for you? Oh my god. More cheese. Less cheese. <laughs> <laughs> little Cowardly Courage the Cowardly Dog, huh? Mm hmm. This would be a good time to get in. Oh, or we just win. If I could turn back my hack. If you could find a way. Mm hmm. Some type of way. Yes. And Mike would say. If I could reach the sky. Look at all them spoilers. Look at them all. Hey, listen. Two modern decks, Utron and Gabos. Which would you rather? Probably Utron if those are my two options. Hey, listen. I'm going to keep this hand. It's a fishy one, but we don't know what we're up against. Our opponent has a Hazard, so they're probably just mono red, right? That's how that works? Yeah, totally. If we draw land, like, land, land would be great. Here comes Thoughtseize. Okay. You're really good at this game where you is predict the, how you lose. Is the game calling their exact card that they have every single time? Yeah, but it's only when it's negative. You can never do it when it's positive. Yeah, if I'm ever like, oh, we're going to... Well, no, I called the Seeker of the Way once, but... I mean, I don't feel like that's as, as good, so... Sometimes you just want to cry. Yep, goodbye, Brims. Hello, Vrins. Losing a Brims, picking up a Vrins. It's almost the same thing. Yeah, almost. Oh, can I get a land? Land, 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 land. Yeah, that's right. You love me. Got that 3 2 that you can't play things that cost more than one? No, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I just said it. I'm tired. What do you want from me? $500. <laughs> that was random. Well, this is what I want. What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to give it to you, that's for sure. Dang it, I thought that would work. Yeah, you're a big dodo bird. I am a big dodo bird. I know, I said that. I'm going to mana leak it with my three lands. Iron Chef Sammy, 23 months left. Oh, this is much better. Because now we can get this and equip it and put the brim, play the brim ass. 
Iron Chef Sammy, thank you so much, buddy. Always a pleasure, even when you're drunk. Especially when you're drunk. That's my favorite Iron Chef Sammy. Uh, Iron Drunk Iron Chef Sammy is best Iron Chef Sammy. If I could reach the sky. Oh, they got a, they got a tricky decision here. Uh oh, happy anniversary. Hey, oh god, Iron Chef Sammy, have you been drinking again? Almost two years. Are we going to, are we going good to move into getters? <laughs> have you been drinking, Sammy? I feel like he's always drinking. I think he has a problem. Yeah, now I'm just worried about you. No, unfortunately Iron Chef Sammy was uh just a, a renewal sub, so that did not count. Choose not to put it on top. Choose not to put the top card of the library into the graveyard. Okay, that's what I meant. This hand's taking a while. Oh, this not this hand, this opponent. My hands. They're taking a while. What does that oh. mean? I don't understand what you're doing right now. I'm uncomfortable with what you're doing. He said maybe. Um Oh, I see. You have a maze of Smith. Just say what you need to say. <laughs> Should I do that, you think? Can we exile that with a uh, no? We're gonna equip anyway. War? That would be great. Yeah, it's land enchantment or artifact. Nice. No, you don't want to take five. Okay. Let's take five by Dave Brubeck. It's a good song. No more peaky peaky for you. Slay the Spire. I have never heard of Slay the Spire. This is where they go, uh, well, well, they can't damnation here. Oh, this guy's a 3 3 2. Oh, that's sad. Did he just say you'd. Oh, look, the land we needed. Well, at least we can get Fiend on your back. No, we can't because they have Maze of Ith the same way they, oh. the same way they did last turn, or else we'd get Brimaz back instead. Because uh. I do not know why you're like this. I'm actually gonna move this over because what happened? Oh, okay, cool. Um, because I'd rather you this guy have protection than the other guy. I'm just gonna play land. I don't need you to be discarding my things. Don't be discarding me things, laddie. Do you remember that time you did that uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog meme? I did. That was weird. You remember that time I was here to drink your beer and steal your rum? No, I don't remember that. Okay. A little Glenolander Arc page. Mm, that's a cutums. Card that we can... Okay. Send him back home. Okay. Maybe you'll forget. I don't know. I don't know you. Mm. I should have actually equipped over here so that we can attack with both. I'm a dumb dumb. Shocker. <laughs> wow. Rude. What a rude Mitch. I would not be so rude if you weren't so dumb. That's <laughs> true. You probably wouldn't be. I understand. <laughs> you okay? No. 
Sad. Sad. Yeah, this is how we should have gotten three points in the last turn, and they would probably be at six here instead of nine. Unless they just want to block. Block, return. <laughs> Your streamers are contentious people? What does that mean? Is it because Mike called me stupid? I mean, he's right. I'm pretty stupid. Why you switch? Oh, uh, because I want this guy to have the protection from black. So if they have like an ultimate price or something, I don't want this guy to die because it's keeping our our search for us Conta safe. It's not ours. It's it's ours now. Or it's on loan from the Lamont two three two seven collection. Look at this all this mana, but nothing to do with it, huh? All right. All this mana, nothing to do. I would like to draw an Alesh Norn. Well, you've set the planes. Same. Similar but different, I guess. Do you have enough to cast Elishnorn? Yeah, it's only seven. Oh. And we have eight total lands in our possession. Can you hear Hunter in the background? He just made, a, like, a coughing noise. He was like, ha, ha, ha. Oh, he goes back home. I don't want to go home, Dad. It's too bad, son. I know it is. You're right. Keep on moving this back to my my gentleman friend. My cat friend. My cat cleric friend. Oh. Thing happened. Yes, and there's a YouTuberino sub. I wonder if I'll really go some of them because I, I've been getting like a lot and I only see like a oh that's pretty good I guess they just counter it though yeah, right exactly this maze of it is real annoying but he wasn't a rock. What was he? He's a rock lobster. No. Get out of town, Michael Brown. Get out of town, Michael Brown. Oh, you're going to bounce the honor of the pier. That's a little scary. Well, sad days are here again, my friend. That is tragedy. And that was game. A tragedy has befallen our... Our friend. Are you going to counter this? Oh boy. I bet you are. Oh boy. Oh boy. If I had a way to deal with this one maze of it, dude. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, Mitchell. Oh, I'm going to have a thing. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So you can play something for 8 unless it's a 9 mana creature. So you're probably just going to play a land and then play an Ulamog. That's my guess. Chiposhi, have a good night, buddy. Always a pleasure. Well, that's a... That's an unfortunate gentleman, especially when we have Fiend Hunter. One, two, three, and you can, uh, yep, we're dead. What happened to this game? Oh, we drew infinite lands, that's right. Ooh, another land. Yeah, they can actually reanimate Venser, they can reanimate Fiend Hunter, they can reanimate Lean and Relic Order to get rid of our sword. Like, their our graveyard is literally a, a smorgasbord of cards that they can activate to get. A smorgy borgy. Oh, yes, the old smorgy borgy. Do you think we'll ever draw any of our good cards? I'm waiting. I don't think we've drawn either of these any game. No. We haven't drawn Sun Titan any game. We haven't drawn Bane Slayer nope. or Gilded Lotus. I want to take the Vryn's Wingmare out. Bring the Mana Tithe? I don't know if I like Mana Tithe. <laughs> Why not? I don't know, man. A Tithe? I don't know, man. A Tithe? 
Yeah, Maze pretty much won them a game. Yeah, if they didn't have Maze, they probably would have been dead. Maze will do you. Oh boy! All right, we got one more game. Maybe two if we if we win. We can get there. Oh, we can counter Mazebeth with Manatide. That's pretty good. Jk. Jk. Read Juggleman, please. I assume what's a Juggleman? Council's Judgment. Uh, starting with you, each player votes for a non-land permanent you don't control. Each Exile each permanent with the most votes or tied for the most votes. Sammy, we couldn't judgment it because they had Glenelanger Archmage, so they just pay one blue and counter our judgment. I didn't... I do kind of like Spyglass for Scarab, but not that much. Alright, look, we got some good cards. Are you gonna are you gonna vomit? Are, mm -hmm. you, are you are you burping in the mic? No. Where are you where are you burping? That was my stomach. Where are you where are your stomach burping? Oh, super aggro. Oh boy. It's not that big a deal. You're not that big of a deal. Wow. Got him. Wow. Got him. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give what? You say gimme, gimme, gimme? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It's a little quote. What's that from? Me first in the gimme, gimme's? My dad. Wow, you're, how did you know, though? Or, it was a black flag quote. Oh. Well, it's one of those two, I'm sure. Who also may be my dad. You never know. I, oh, well, now we now we draw all the seven drops. I don't think I care about Jace just yet. No, not till he flips. Well, I'd rather him not flip. Flip side. Flip side. It's right next to the west side. It can be our Anna Zerily present. Iron Chef Sammy, are you just trolling right now? I feel like you're just sitting at home typing completely sober and just messing it up just to be funny. Caught him red-handed. He's like, actually, I am completely sober. I apologize for trying to fool you. <laughs> I don't know why he talks like that, though. Why not? I don't, well, I don't know. I just, I'm just saying I don't know if he does. I'm not saying he doesn't. I'm just saying I don't know if he does. What? Oh, my God. I didn't hear you. <sighs> Why are you like this? So many Jaces. This is a lot of Jaces. Well, we can deal that Jason, too. Oh, boy. Like, we've had mana problems every game. We either draw seven lands and no spells, or we draw three lands, and... <clears throat> all seven drops in hand. Like, it's kind of dumb. You said you wanted to see the seven drops, now we got them. I guess I did. I guess I did. You messed up. Um... 
You can have the coalition relic. If drinking helps you spell, then you are sober as hell right now, just so you know. Oh, good. How nice. We only swung for two because Jace plussed. Oh, yeah, this is... We can't... just can't do anything. Like, this is even... Nope, not doing that. I mean, we have to draw at two lands back to back in order to play anything. And if we draw a creature that costs th three or less, we still have to draw two lands to play anything in our hand. At, at most, we have to draw four lands in a row. Plus our opponent has four cards, a Jace, and a Search in play. Yeah, our deck is trying to... Our, our deck is trying to do... I'll be happy if our deck could even do one thing right now. Oh yeah, that's going to be the end. Tap down a land? Yeah, okay. All right. That was not our most productive draft, unfortunately, but we still got to win in, so it was a stipulation draft. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys haven't done so, please feel free to like and subscribe, uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.